YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and today I have something for you that's sort of borderline in terms of a, a prepping topic, um, although it's about having a diverse diet and in a shit hits the fan scenario, uh, being able to eat and prepare a wide variety of foods is better than having a, a narrow sort of diet. Uh, and what if, you know, there's a collapse and you come across an entire warehouse full of tofu that hasn't gone bad yet? be nice to know how to prepare that. Mostly I'm just doing this video for Angry Prepper who mentioned that he wanted to try vegetarianism and I told him that I would give him a kick-ass way of preparing uh, tofu. Actually there are a few prep uh, related things in here uh, that I will I will get to as we go through the video but you know it's a, it's a how to make awesome tofu video primarily. So I've got this uh, chunk of tofu this is firm tofu right here and I'm just gonna cut it up into some little chunks like that in order to get the right angle here, I'm actually kneeling on the ground. So this is sort of an awkward angle for me to work, but this way you can see everything. Uh, and I'm going to cut it this way, like this. Again, this is firm tofu. I, I'll sometimes use firm or extra firm tofu. I'm going to turn it into a bunch of pieces about that size, like that. Uh, now, the next thing that I'm going to do is get a pan. And this pan's already been seasoned. They did some onions in it earlier. And I'm going to put some olive oil in there and you want kind of a lot of olive oil. They're kind of kind of simmer in there. It helps uh, get the heat up. The next thing that we're going to add is a little, uh, this is tamari, but you can use soy sauce. Now soy sauce is a great uh, prepping sort of item because you can get all those little soy sauce packets that kind of last forever and they're free now. They're just drifting around in the gutter. I get most of my soy sauce packets from dumpsters mostly. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of that in here kind of drizzle it in. So you got olive oil, we've got tamari in there, and what we're doing is we're making a little bit of a simmering sauce. Now this next ingredient is nutritional yeast. This is something that was kind of developed for vegetarians. Uh, there's a lot a lot of uh, B vitamins in here, uh, which is something that vegetarians sometimes uh, don't have as much of because it's, it's in meat. So uh, this is veg uh, nutritional yeast and it uh, has a lot of B vitamins in it. It also has a really nice flavor that it adds to things. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Uh, this uh, is a, something that you can store for a long period of time and just keep it dry and it's, it's good for, I don't know, I haven't tested it. It's good for at least several years, I've found. Uh, so we've got nutritional yeast uh, for a little bit of kind of richness of flavor and it gives you the B vitamins. We've got the tamari in there, a little bit of salty, the oils in there to fry them up. And I'm going to add just a little bit of cayenne powder here. So there's a little bit of cayenne powder and some water. Now I get this in a pickle jar here. There's nothing special about it. Usually I keep urine in my in pickle jars. Uh, this one doesn't currently have any urine in it, uh, so I'm using it for water. Uh, we're going to put it in there, enough of it, so that we can get this stuff kind of like wet and sloshy, about that consistency. So it's oozing around the pan. Not sure if that was the best shot. Kind of going like that. And then we're going to take each of these pieces and just put them in here, face down. Well, they have four faces. Six, actually. Four reasonable faces. We're not going to put them up like that. So we're going to put them all down like that, and we want to get a little bit of uh, space between each one so that the sauces can kind of get up in the cracks. And what we're going to do, uh, I have a wood stove uh, burning right now downstairs, so I'm going to cook this over the wood stove. You want this to cook over a pretty high heat. Uh, you, you want them to be bubbling and you want them to eventually start searing on the bottom a little bit. And once they do start searing, uh, you take a spatula, take them, flip them over, start searing the other side. You really want to coat all the sides of these. One thing with tofu is that it's a healthful food, but it really tastes like nothing. Uh, it's, it only tastes like what you put on it. So you really want to get the flavoring all around them. And this, cooked this way, is really, really tasty. It's it, great just to add into any dish. Um, my, my boy, this is one of his favorite foods in the world. <laughs> so it, it's a special treat when we do tofu cubes. I know these aren't uh, cubes, they're uh, rectangular prisms, but we call them tofu cubes, to mess with his head, you know, abusing him mentally so that when he gets out into the world, you won't know what a rectangular prism is. Sucks. So that's it. I'm going to show you uh, what these look like when they're all done. I've got the B-roll up right now, I'm sure. So they're nice. They're crispy. They've got a little bit of a um, uh, skin to them. 
these actually are really, really pretty good. And having the nutritional yeast is a great uh, sort of B vitamin uh, prep that you can just put in. You can mix, you, you, uh, you can mix nutritional yeast into soups and things like that. Um, uh, just to get a little extra B vitamins. So as sort of a, a nutritional supplement, nutritional yeast uh, would be a great thing to pick up. They have it at lots of health food stores, and like I said, it lasts forever. So Angry Prepper, good luck with your vegetarian odyssey. Uh, I think I recommend it to you. Don't don't kill yourself diving right in. If you need to step in slowly and just slowly replace your diet one 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 meal at a time, I always think that's a great way of doing it. Don't think of changing your diet as a subtractive process. Think of it as an additive process. Just keep adding more delicious vegetarian meals as you find new ones that you like, and they'll just naturally crowd out all the stuff that you're maybe trying to get out of your diet. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.